All right, Shalom. Shalom, Rastafari. And this is going to be on the outstretched arms of Christ. Or the, the idea, the key, the key word is the outstretched arm. Now, if you look that up in the scripture, you know, outstretched arm, sometimes you have to break it down to key word, right? Hold on for a moment, brothers and sisters. Outstretched arm, right? And the arm of God slash Christ. I'm just taking notes. You know, I'll be saying to y'all, take notes. And, you know, if y'all don't want to take notes, I'm going to take notes. And some of us take notes. I will. Amen. So we had touched on, last uh, touched on the outstretched, a verse that mentioned the outstretched arms. Right? The outstretched arms. Right? And this is one of the uh, Ethiopic um, uh, Shil or Sil. You know what I'm saying? One of our native, original cities, not this other stuff that has crept in since the traders opened up the doors, you know what I'm saying, so the enemies could come in. They opened up the gates, in other words. You know what I'm saying, for the enemies to come in. And that's when they brought in this so-called whitewash, you know what I'm saying, or this counterfeit. And this has now made Ethiopia vulnerable to our enemies, uh, internal enemies and external enemies. Now, how does all of this um, connect or relate to the King of Kings and his Christ? You understand, know, uh, the King of Kings, the Father, Abba, and our big brother, our black brother, Yeshua. Speaking of Jesus Christos, you understand, know, the true spirit of God in Christ and his word, which is the B-I-B-L-E. That's why we're still on the Eliyah or Eliah and Elijah, but we got into the book, the idea of the book of Eli. You could, what we were looking at previous, right, previously was, um, it was in Jeremiah 32 and 16, and we were looking up the verses which spoke about evidences. And then this is um, Aramias' prayer. Ah, Gita Gizyabi Her, Ah, Donai Yahweh. Behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. This reminds I and I of, um, of what this in Glamarium said. And and Kedus Lukas Wengel Mi'raf And or Mi'raf Hand, if you please, right? Where where she says, um, um, behold, behold, look and see. Remember this this Torah portion that we're in, right? This particular Torah portion is is behold. It's the forty seventh Rastafari Sabbatical um, or Sabbath study, Sabbath scroll number forty seven. And that in the Hebrew is known as re or re as well as from Bamarinya as Arai, Arai, right? And we touched on that in some previous posts as well as on the Barbait. Because it's important that we learn our Fidel, learn our ciphers, how to read, you understand? But begin off with hearing the word. This is why we have to encourage ones and ones again that... Um, uh, audio books, you know, with the Bible, audio books with the Bible, especially if it's good readers, especially in the English, the King James version of it, you, you have to get, get a copy of some audio books and play them. You know, and listen to them regularly. Even if you don't have the opportunity, you might be working, you might be busy, whatever, play them, listen to them. If you need to get the Metzav Kedus, the being read in the, which is the Haile Selassie Bible, or what we know of as the book of Eli, or the book of the seven seals, the me se ha se e du se the met se ha e du You know what was Matthew says, the, and, and, and the, you know, the, the proper name that the Bible bears, right? And we give thanks and praise that we've been able to um, get these pocket size and find um, printers and distributors because it's a lot of counterfeiting of this Bible or presenting another Bible 
in the name of this Bible to a lot of brothers and sisters who might still be there. It's like, you're, you're the children. So when you're getting these other Bibles, like they're offending the children. Remember we said you brought the little child, the Hitan, which we, we used to teach on the Lig, Liginet study, right? And he says that, woe to those who offend one of these little ones. So some of y'all are trying to actually get His Majesty's Bible and begin studying, and instead of getting this, the Metzahaf Kedus, you understand, even when you search the ISBN, as happened to us on, a, on a several occasions, ordering dozens of books at a time sometimes, and, and we get this, this, this um, Romanist. It's actually behind the whole thing is this Romanist Bible. Really, it's the Good News Bible. You know that Good News Bible, that, that crazy Bible, the Good News one? You know, that's like written for nowadays people. You understand? Because they say, you're too stupid to really study, you understand, the Bible, like in this sort of detail. Yovas, and, and don't let their word come to pass. You know, like this word program. We have it. You can download it. You understand? And you can actually, like we just showed right here, when we say, ah, Adonai Yahweh. We will say, oh, Adonai, how do you say that? It says, Lord God, how do you determine that? Well, if you look, if you look at it right here, now, this thing is acting up probably because of this right here. Let's close that right out, and let's see if this, okay, there it goes right there. Let's just click on this so it'll come down at the bottom, right? You see this right down here? Ah, uh, ah, uh, do, nai, adonai, oh, we, we can say adonai too. This is pointed by mostly the Ashkenazis, right? So we look into the, the, um, Metaf Kedus, we can look into our other Ethiopic scroll. This is what's so important about our, our divine heritage or about our ancient Ethiopian culture. And Kadamawi Haile Shalase, I and I, Godfather and King of Kings, he says that language, right, language is the key of culture. So if we want to know Ethiopian culture, we must begin with the fidel, with the language, and everything that is related to that. It's, it's the mainframe. It's like the matrix, if you please. All right? So let's go on with this area right here. We still are speaking about um, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the, the, the mystical connection even in the name. All right? Um, one particular brother in uh, Bidi. Linville Samuel, some of y'all might know, some of y'all might not know, but he actually is one who touched on this in his writing some years ago. Yeah, it's not published again, and we really hope, and those who are working with him, try to get, if he can, to publish some of those publications. I mean, we can also help with the publication and distribution of it, because many of his earlier and, and the writings that he put out before were very, very instrumental. We know that when anybody puts out the truth, the enemy is going to come after you or want to debate with you or, or want you to give them a piece of your mind. And, and a lot of times we are sucked into that. You're suckered into that to give them a piece of our mind. You understand? Know and as soon as we, um, as, we, as, we, as we do that, you know, we're drained. We become drained. You understand? Know we even begin to doubt or become confused. That, 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 that is all a that's a psyops. Because remember, it's a, it's a spiritual warfare. So it begins in the spirit, right? And then it affects your psychological, your, your, your soul, your feeling, your thoughts, your will. You know, when somebody is so hit up and beat up and, 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 and soul burdened, when one has a heavily burdened soul to the point that, you know, you know, this happens to all of us at some point or another. Some people even more regularly, even maybe right now, we need to pray for them and minister to them, but they need to receive, you understand, receive Yeshua, you understand, in, in spirit and truth and his word. and need to prune their speech because we're cursing ourselves by not recognizing the true Tawahido level of word, sound, and power. You understand, the true scriptural level, biblical, we, know, we might know it a little bit and in, in, in forward ever, 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 backward, never. We might know it on that particular level, you understand, and, and, and some of those sort of levels. But I notice a lot of folks have stopped being able to perceive or, or, or they're not able to perceive even other ways because they haven't really studied up. Their knowledge is still limited, like I said, but not according to have a zeal for God, but it's not according to the knowledge. You understand? And there was a knowledge of the Son of God. 
of Yeshua HaMoshiach. And like we said, we use this picture right here, you know what I'm saying, as a, as a, as a placeholder. And as, as, as for ones, it's like lifting up the brazen serpent. You remember, Moses had to lift up the brazen serpent for all the people who had got bit by the fiery serpents. You know what I'm saying, because they had murmured against the Lord. You remember what the Israelites did? The Israelites said, we have no king but Caesar. So therefore, Caesar Bogiers came into the picture. And you already know that we showed that before. We don't want to... We don't even like looking at that picture be beyond beyond so. You understand know when you when you when, when your spiritual eyes are open. You understand. Um, so, with that being said, let us continue on on this particular. Um, I know there's a couple of points in there that some might want a little clara clara on, but here's where we're at with that statement about that stretched out arm. So, what is right? What is that stretched out arm. Now, we're looking at some of the pics right here, right? And let's see if we can bring this up in our other, in, in the open program right here. All right? The stretched out arm. Yeah, now, we know, or we should know, as true Rastafari, we should know what the teaching of His Majesty is concerning Yeshua HaMoshiach. Now, you might not um, be able to articulate it fully. You might not like it or you might not think it's right or whatever but if you call upon the name of Rastafari then recognize that you're carrying that name in good faith you should recognize the true faith of the one whose name you are carrying otherwise it is like the worst form of um, identity theft you know what I'm saying I mean, I mean it's, it's really a high spiritual crime you know what I'm saying and if, if what we think we're seeing or hearing concerning what's going on among brother and sister and those who are really without Christ and, and have been faking the funk for a lot of years and denying the teaching of his majesty. You know, I mean, they, they are having it rough, spiritually speaking. You, you know, and, and a lot of things are being shown out in these last days and time. People say, well, why is that? The, 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 the spiritual sons and daughters recognize you know, it was because of disobedience to teach him his mantis, but yet still want to say, well, I'm a Rasta. You know what I'm saying? I'm abbreviated. You know what I mean? I'm Farai. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Fari. I'm a Tawi. Not Tefari. I'm not Rasta Fari. Oh, I don't deal with the language because it doesn't matter because you said the word is one and the same. You fool. You're a fool. Because he, you're a fool because you're not in the will of his majesty and you're claiming to be of his majesty. You're not my brother or my sister saying things like that. You understand? I mean, we know that we are children. You understand? It's like we've come in through the door and the door is Yeshua. If you say the door is somewhere else, then you're a liar. You understand? You're a liar. Plain and simple. And we have to begin to distinguish that and not... And it doesn't have to be the personal level. That's what we talked about, the peace of mind. Don't let one take the peace of your mind. And we want to get into that on, on a little bit more as the peace of mind refers to Yeshua HaMoshiach. You know what I'm saying? But when we got to this particular verse right here in Aramius, or um, Jeremiah, right? And we saw this stretched out, when he says stretched out on, Right? And, 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 and we, we, we recognize that the Old Testament is the New Testament concealed, and the New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. Right? And the first things are man's natural best. You know what I'm saying? And then the latter things are the fuller things, the complete things are the spiritual things. You know what I'm saying? Or what one will call the supernatural, but according to the spiritual order of the King of Kings and his Christ. Because anything out of order is out of order. Right? Now, there is nothing too hard for thee. Then we thought about Kedistin Gulmari. You know what I'm saying? How when the angel came to her, she said, Behold, look and see. Here I am, the handmaiden of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Be it unto me according to what? Thy word. Did she even know fully that she was about to give birth to that word, the same word that Johannes Wengel, that the grace of God, gospel or good news, John's gospel, says the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. So how do they think that this means a translation? How in the world, I mean, a translation? You know what I'm saying? Or every translation. You know, so, and, and that's a contextual point. That's a contextual point, but it, it, it has a, a powerful resonance 
on everything else that is to come. Let's go on. Thou shewest loving kindness. Now, even on the outstretched arm where it says that he created everything with his, with, with his mighty power, his great power, and his outstretched arm, and we say that is Yeshua. Remember his imperial majesty saying that um, Jesus Christ, yes, was cr in translation, Jesus, Jesus Christ, but Bamarinya in the Amharic, Jesus Christos, he is our what? Blameless. Uh, he is our blameless creator. Wow. His Majesty says, Kedemawi Hala Selassie saith this. Abba saith this. Kedu Sabatachin saith this. Is that true? Well, those of us who are truly sons and daughters recognize and we admit proudly, boldly. You know what I'm saying? As bold as a lion, as bold as a lion of the tribe of Judah. You know what I'm saying? As Majesty admitted these truths and walked in these truths, even among the most wicked and evil of the so-called Illuminati, so-called New World Order, secret societies, uh, cabals, whatever they want to call themselves, man. You know, if, if that's you, then you just know who you are. You know what I'm saying? But that's not I and I. But our Father, you know them, because that grace... You know what I'm saying? It is that grace. Wherever sin was this sin abound, where sin abound, grace did abound much more. You know what I'm saying? Does abound much more. So his majesty's testimony, Kadamawi Haila Shalasi's testimony is that Jesus Christos, Yeshua Ha Moshiach, is our blameless creator. Would any of you dispute that he says that? You're saying, well, it's just a translation. Well, have you looked at the original and see if it disagrees with that, with that basic level translation? It does not disagree because it doesn't disagree with the word, with the Bible, which is mad. He also says, for my part, I glory in the Bible. So how can we glory in him and we glory not in the Bible? So that's another area of that stretched out arm. You understand? Stretched out arm because Yeshua HaMoshiach, right, Jesus Christos, his death was our death. You don't know understand, right? Because as he is, so are we in the world. Oh, yeah. So therefore, if you understand that, you understand why we can say boldly that we have overcome. Because we first must declare it. See, he's put before us this day blessings and curses. To the choose this day. Choose ye this day. You know, we have, we have to choose. You understand? We have to choose. We have to choose this day, right, whom we are serving. Are we serving the King of Kings and his Christ to life? You understand? Are we just babbling on about Babylon, right? Are we babbling on about Babylon and doing things our own so-called way or, or what seemeth right in our own eyes because there's no king or visible king in in, amongst Israel, among Ethiopia, on that Ethiopian throne, because that, see, folks look at it like that, and you can tell they're just natural. They just, they just, the, the natural man don't understand the spiritual things. You understand? They're not in the kingdom, not in the kingdom of the heavens. You understand? They are, they, are, they are partaking with the demonic hierarchy. But we know that Yeshua Hamoshiach. That's why he says boldly. He says that all power has been given to who? To He. Right? To, to me, he says, in heaven and in earth. You know, this is why we have to be in him. You know, that's why the magic can say, I'm a man, I am mortal. You know, because we touched on the whole mortality and how the mortality is, is, it gives way to the immortality, how there's a whole process. It is a walk. There's an akahe. And there's also a certain talk. That we must talk. You remember when that woman, Falachi, right? Falachi, Oriana Falachi, tried to, you know, have Hala Falachi speak about, oh, when you die, when you die, when you die. And then he kept speaking on the real issues, the living issues, right? And then at a certain point, he was like, uh, well, Kasufi, Sesufi, Kasufe, or whatever, in some French, which basically means it's enough, it's fine, get out of here. Who is this? He even said, in the translation of the interview, it says, who is this woman? You understand? That, that woman was like Satana, as you know about that fallen, feminine, so-called being, or the soul of, of Satan. You understand? You understand? But in that same interview, he said something very, very powerful. 
He says, to be emperor of Ethiopia has given him the greatest pleasure because to serve Ethiopia is like a father. So he serves Ethiopia as a father serves his son. Now, and I've noticed that folks haven't really been talking about that. We've been speaking on it whenever, you know, whenever the, 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 the Spirit has, has, has given inspiration to speak on that. But that, that point in itself, some say, well, I don't know about the translation. Oh, you know about all the other translations. Well, then you must be getting into them hard. How are you doing in the Bay? Are you at one, two, three, four? Where are you at? The Mecca then? You over saying the goodness? You on the goodness level? The word in the Bob? Um, the Bob? Yeah, or you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. So you're not really a credible, you're not a credible witness. You're an incredible witness. You're not a really credible witness. I mean, we can't put any sort of faith or trust in that. So that's another area where the outstretched arm and Yeshua HaMoshiach being our blameless creator, when we start to put this all together, you remember the place where he was crucified, right? You have to understand there's a spiritual level. This right here is an abstract. This picture here, even this picture here is an abstract. This is the actual man. You understand? Just to even see the complexion. Right, you know, Middle Eastern, Ethiopian, you know what I'm saying, um, Jasper, Sardine Stone. Have you looked up a Jasper and a Sardine Stone lately? And you see what color they are? It says, he who sits on the throne is like to look upon as one who is of this particular complexion. And around the throne, right, is a, is a, is a, is a rainbow, Aranguare Bicha K. Right? You know, and we can just keep going through it, but it also says in the Bible, Revelation 5, 5, Weep not, behold, look and see, Arai, here he is. The conquering of the lion of the tribe of Judah hath prevailed. The root, the root of David. And there's an uplink right there to the African Eon for those who can't overstand. Now, let's see if we can go forward. Now, that outstretched arm is very powerful. You know what I'm saying? Some think that it's an outstretched arm like he's trying to grab you, like he's... No, no, no. It's an outstretched arm. Remember what Christ first said to even uh, Nicodemus, right? When he says about... Um, he was speaking about uh, being born, you know, being born again, and so forth and so on, and that, 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 that how that is so very important, right? And then he said... No, it was Nicodemus where he said to him... As the son of man, let's go here, right here for a moment. And before we go forward with this, because this is the evidence. Because we was in Jeremiah, we look in the Bible on evidence. This is a continuation of the, of the Eliah equals E Ahila. Because if you look at those two, you know, if you look at those, uh, two, uh, those two words in the Hebrew to the Ethiopic, you know that Eliah equals E. Eliah equals Hila, both in the meaning and in the, the, the word, as one is right to left, left to right. And then you can break down even Eli, Hile. Hile means my power. Anyone who really knows Hebrew, you know that Eli, at its very root, means mighty and power. And the Ethiopic Hila also means power, Hile. It means power. The Hile would mean my power. And when Christ was on the cross, he said, what? Eli, Eli. You understand? The, the, the son, some people say, was calling on Elijah. What they didn't recognize was calling on the name of the father. Right? Calling on his father. He was his father. Now, as far as Elijah, Elijah on a certain level was, you know, was an extraterrestrial on, on a certain level. If you understand what, what Tishbite means. Look up Tishbite before you want to debate anything. If you want to reason, let, let us reason. Mm -hmm. Reasoning is good. Rastafari deal with reasoning, not debate. Debate is what leads to um, irrationality and reasonableness. You yeah, understand? I mean, we just went through the Bible in the earlier, the earlier part, and we touched on that. But we have warning and caution right there. So, it, you know, it's better for us to you know, be uh, obedient, you understand, to Shema, right, Shema, and when you look up Yahweh Shama, Yahweh Shama, that's one of the divine names, Bamarinya Xiavihirabezia, in other words, Jah will be waiting there, you know what I'm saying, so, let us go right here to, um, yep, it was a Nicodemus, right, 
what he's talking about being born again first. Then he says, so we take this step by step, Yeshua and Nicodemus, he's talking about a new birth. And we go, come to verse 9, Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? And Yeshua answered and said to him, Art thou a master, a memher, a, a rebbe of Israel, and knowest not these things? Amen, amen. Verse 11. St. John chapter 3, verse 11. Verily, verily, which is amen, amen. Right? The two amen. For the Father and the Son. Amen, amen. I say to thee, we speak that we do know. What well, we. Notice he's just there to speak him. He's it's just a, like a secret meeting in a sense between him and Nicodemus came to him at night. So he's saying we. All right? We. That royal we. You understand? We speak that we do know and testify that we have seen. And ye receive, you don't Kabbalah, you don't Makabah, you don't Kabbalah. You understand? Our, not our witness. You don't receive our witness. Mm -hmm. like they didn't receive the witness, the testimony of Kedemawi Hala Selassie. Time and time and time again. But we're coming to the end of those times, right? Verse 12 says, If I have told you earthly things, and ye my men, if you don't amen them, how can you amen if I tell you of heavenly things? How can you have a faithful and true witness? How can you trust? You understand? And no man hath ascended up to heaven. No man has ascended up to heaven but he that came down from heaven. Makes sense, right? Even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Notice what he's saying. He's saying the Son of Man is already in heaven. Right? Check this out. This is, this is, because one will say, well, Christ was the Son of Man. He was the whole other teaching, Son of Man, Son of God. Now, Christ is the Son of Man. You know what I'm saying? He shares that with the Son of Man, but that's the Son of God who took on the character of the Son of Man. You know what I'm saying? In order to redeem on that, to redeem humanity spiritually, psychologically, and also to redeem that melanin, that DNA. You know what I'm saying? To charge that God particle. You know what I'm saying? To charge that God particle so they can become sons and daughters, right? So he goes on to say in verse 14, 314, and compare John's gospel 314 with Revelation chapter 314 and what it's saying. It says, And as Moses, Musa, lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, where are we, brothers? And, what did Elijah Muhammad say? We're in the what? Wilderness. Right? We're in the wilderness of what? North America, Amorica, right? Which is the ancient name of this place, right? And Amor, Amora means uh, vulture, right? And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the what? Son of man be lifted up. That, verse 15, whosoever mameneth, mamen, mamen, a Hebrew word, an Ethiopic, Afro Shemitic word, which means true and faithful witness means trust means confidence you understand um whosoever my men is in him should not perish should not perish should not be destroyed and we're not just talking about just flesh destruction we're talking about psychically and spiritually uh, de destroyed this, this is this is serious if it's on the second death now yo this is the second death now the egyptians even say that the worst type of judgment, you know, would be total annihilation. I, I mean, not even like there's no even spiritual world. They're, they're gone. Done. That's what it's talking about, perish. You know what I'm saying? In other words, one's code taken out of the code, you know? Um, one's name not in that book of life, but have eternal life, that they would not perish. At least they don't fear he who can uh, destroy the body, but fear he who can destroy the, bo the, the body and the soul in, in, in the Gehenna Israel. For God, for Ha Elohim Hashem, so loved the world, Baruch Hu Hashem, Baruch Hu, so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever my men is, whosoever shall recognize him as the Amen, and shall have the Imnet, because the Amen and the Imnet, you understand, that's the marriage of the Lamb, right? The object, he's the object of I and I faith, right? In spirit and in truth, right? And then that Imnet that we have, 
you know what I'm saying, becomes one with the object. It's like uh, someone who loves one and the object of their affection when they become one. That's that marriage of the lamb, right? That whosoever believeth or my menace, him should not perish, but have zalalamawi, he what shall have eternal life, right? Eternal life for Ha Elohim Baruchu the Hashem, blessed be He, sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world. Wow, ain't that something? He didn't send it. People say yes, yeah, way no, but that the world through Him might be saved. So what's the original objective? Is the Medchane Alem, right? He that my menace on Him is not condemned. He who has Amen or Imnet on him who is the Amen is not condemned. But he that does not have Amen or does not have does not recognize him as the Amen and have no imnet in him is condemned already. Because he has not imnet, right, in the name of the only begotten Son of God. The only begotten, the only born Son of God. Now this is very interesting because you know we talk about like people saying you know, as there was in the time of Noah and the hybrids and the fallen angels and some gods and this and that. You have to recognize what's so powerful about what's being said right here. The only begotten Son of God, right? And this is the condemnation that light, that the true illuminati, the true illumination, the true enlightenment is come into the world, that Kedamawi Haila Shalasi has come into the world, right, in the name of Yeshua HaMoshiach. And men love darkness, they love ignorance, they love their stupidity, right, rather than light. Because, why? Because their deeds were evil, their deeds were kufu. For everyone that doeth kufu or kufat hateth the light. Those who make it a practice of evil doing, they hate the light. That's how we know them, by those evil fruits, bad fruits. Neither cometh to the light, neither can come to the true light, lest at least his deeds should be reproved. And he don't want to, they, they love their deeds. They take pleasure in on the right. You have to get this. It's like we were watching the Alex Jones thing, and they were talking about, how some people, that people come to this recognition that there's some people who like the pain and the suffering of people. I mean, they, 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 they get turned on by that. It's something really, it, 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 you try to say, aren't you a human being? You don't recognize they are demonically, you know, possessed or taken over. But he that doeth truth, he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest. That they may be revealed, the imare, the demonstration, that they are wrought, they are done in Jah. Rastafari.